Epilepsy is a central nervous system disorder in which the brain activity usually becomes abnormal, causing seizures or even periods of unusual behavior, sensations, and sometimes even the loss of awareness. Now, management of epilepsy has evolved a lot over the last few decades with the advent of new drugs, but one must be aware that about one in every three epilepsy patients do not usually respond or is refractory to the anticonvulsant therapy. Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues Journal Club, your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and today I will be discussing about the reason for failures of drug therapy in treating epilepsy. Drug-resistant epilepsy is the most common and quite challenging neurological problem to identify with scope of surgery. Now, there are very few studies in Indian population particularly. Now, a recent study in the Journal of the Associations of Physicians of India, it aimed to look at the neuroimaging profile of drug-resistant epilepsy presenting in a tertiary care centre in South India. All the patients in the study were diagnosed clinically as drug-resistant epilepsy as per the International League Against Epilepsy criteria and all those who underwent MRI over a period of 24 months were included in the study. Their clinical and the MRI features were documented and, and therefore analysed. A total of 150 patients diagnosed with drug-resistant epilepsy were included. Clinically, around 96 of them presented with generalised tonic-clonic seizures 36 had complex partial seizures, with 14 with simple focal seizures and 2 each with atonic seizures and focal seizures with secondary generalization. The results of the study showed that the MRI was normal in 32%, while in those who were having an abnormal MRI, mesial temporal sclerosis was the commonest pathology seen in 41.3%, followed by cortical malformations, tumours, vascular malformations and other non-specific lesions. The researchers therefore concluded that clinical and neuroimaging profile of drug-resistant epilepsy is more common in younger age, usually presented mainly with generalised tonic-clonic seizures or complex partial seizures, mesial temporal sclerosis being the commonest underlying pathology which was bilateral in 8.6%. Temporal lobe lesions were more predominant and cortical malformations, low-grade tumours and vascular lesions are the other important causes. Hence, a detailed examination is what needs to be done. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.